What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Shift Fire, the exploration and appreciation of all things military culture. Today, folks, we're going to be doing an episode of Social Media Recon, where Cameron and I, we have searched far and wide through the vast reaches of the internet to find some uh, crazy, amusing, maybe a little sad videos, and we're going to give our commentary on said videos. So let's waste no time, and let's check out these videos. Seeing if Michael Myers could get us in the barracks. I hate you, electronic voice lady! Seeing if he could get us in where, the barracks. Where oh, is they he? just like pacing it out. I think if he was walking. Oh, like, he's, where would he's you go? Michael Myers and he's and he, then he's coming after him. He's pretending to be the damsel in distress. Yeah. Oh my god, you would if you were that slow. Yeah. Oh you dropped oh, your no, ID you card. Dropped key card. Oh no, he's gonna get you! Okay, get you, man. Why oh, would you just keep he running? Him. He got him. Oh look now it's switching. Oh we get to watch it again. He called him a he bit. He called him a bit, asterisk, asterisk. Because you can't read, electronic voice lady. Yeah. I think Michael what? Myers is a little faster than that. <laughs> yeah, Michael Myers, everybody knows that at this point, Michael Myers can pretty much teleport wherever he, he wants can. to go. He can. He can avoid like, death. He can avoid critics. He's a supernatural movie yeah. franchise, <laughs> that's for sure. He is the, he's the unstoppable force. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's. Is this MRE kid? Double thumbs down. Double thumbs Just down. Just because it's him. I mean, like, weird stuff like this would happen, but back then TikTok didn't exist, so we didn't yeah. feel the need to film everything, you know? It's weird. I mean, yeah, when people, get, at least when soldiers get super bored, that's when the weird yeah. starts happening. At least I remember from my experience, like, if we weren't training, it was like the most terrifying time to be a private, because you knew the team leaders were just trying to come up with something <laughs> to either publicly embarrass you or get you physically harmed. So yeah, that, that's a scary time. I was thankful to be in Special Forces because I think we were people were a little more mature then, or at least at least not as motivated to make your life miserable. So they would only mess with me during work hours, you know, like when oh, we were yeah. supposed to be training. But afterwards, I could go home and get away from everybody. Lucky you. Yeah, I didn't have to live in the barracks at all. Basically, I got to skip all that drama. Oh yeah, I so grew happy. up. Grew up in the barracks. Uh, <laughs> Special Forces. Wait. Is this, is this You know, every me? day, people ask me, Lambert, how do you wake up in the Middle East when it's 120 degrees outside and run 20 miles? How do you do it? What's it like being in an Australian Special Forces? And I, I tell don't. Them, I don't know what it's like. I'm not in the Australian Special Forces. I'm in the Special <laughs> Bag Forces, and I do what I want and wear what I want. Don't be like me, kids. Uh, don't worry, we won't. Don't worry, no I will make sure happening. nobody ends up like you, my friend. If I can have any power. I love the boonie cap, he's got the, uh, he's got the specialist. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the specialist tab right on. There. That's yep. like classic E4 Mafia. That dude, like, not gonna re-enlist, join the military for Dodge Charger or something. <laughs> or just had no life aspirations and decided to join the military and just continued to be a piece of Thank you, actually, this is like, that's actually like a public service announcement because he's like, don't be like me. And that's true. Nobody should ever be no, like that. No, don't be like that. Be all. motivated. Go to schools. Be yeah, the best. Do something. Learn use, something. Yeah, use your time in the military. That's a golden opportunity to learn and grow and and uh, obviously beat up on other people and yeah. you know a lot of pranks in the in the uh, you know what? In fact, don't yeah. don't join the army. Just don't do it. Which fighter jet is the best? The one that Tom Cruise is yeah, flying. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever Tom Cruise is in. F-18. F-18, I don't, I don't right? know, F Jets, man. I, I'm terrible at identifying planes. F-22. F-22 looks pretty cool. That looks cool. F-35. That looks even cooler. That looks even cool. F-16. Which is the one where the guy he in uh, Battlefield, he jumps out of the plane, he shoots the rocket launcher at the enemy plane, and then he jumps back into his own plane and flies off. Which one is that? I want to fly that jet. Well, the one that looked the coolest was the F-22. I like the shape, I like the shape of its wing. Yeah, look at that, you look like at that, that thing, man. That looks like a spaceship. That does spaceship. look like a spaceship. I think the F-35 looks way more aerodynamic. I'll just put it out there. I like the, yeah, I like the, the contrast between the tail wings. That, I don't know, man. Let's but, get Tom Cruise to do a social media recon with us. Jay, Jay Letterman. Letterman. If I remember correctly, they look like they come out of, like, basically either uh, a 60, a 60 round for, like, mortars, or I'm, a, I'm gonna go with 60s. Um, or they look like what you would keep a Carl G round, like an 84 millimeter projectile. Just the carrying case, or do you yeah, just the carrying case. You unwrap it. Actually, I'm, I'm gonna go with 60 millimeter mortar. Okay. Look at him go, little boy. Oh no, he dropped them, and he was carrying them, but he dropped them. <laughs> Honestly, he has to drop it 
because there's no way he can throw all those in the trash can. He's right. gonna have to put it on the floor anyways. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I, uh, I really feel bad for him because somebody thought that, somebody took the time to get up into the dumpster, yeah. set up the shot and then said, hey, come over, run over here with those casings. I'm not serious. First deployment. Is this our vacation? Yeah. Oh. Are we trash? Kinda. Oh. I, w I wouldn't think that the name National would be Guard. Trash. I like how he puts National Guard. Yeah, yeah, so they're just like hanging out somewhere. Oh, oh this I get is the what, point yeah. of the TikTok now. It's saying that like National Guard and Navy deployments are f stupid. Yeah, yeah they're stupid. They're <laughs> easy. I'm assuming he is National Guard. <laughs> Wait, this isn't the guy from the glasses video, is it? This is the guy from the glasses video. Uh, he makes way too much TikToks, man. Yeah, He's man. got way too much time. He on had his enough hands. time to do costume and then a full costume change and do creative, both sides of the conversation. Have a creative meeting, come up with it. He yep. mind mapped this out. He did a five paragraph op order for this TikTok video. Absolutely. Time well spent, buddy. Thank you for your service. My take is I've never deployed with the National Guard, even though I've been with the National Guard, but. I wouldn't want to deploy with the National Guard if you caught my drift. Um, <laughs> I don't know about Navy because I just know they float around on the ship a lot, but I've never, I, I wouldn't know what the Navy would be doing unless they're like obviously in a special operations, like a SEAL team. Right, right. Um, what's, once they hit like the Middle East and dock, like what would they be doing? Right. I don't know. What do you actually, what do you even yeah. do Navy? Just float around on a what boat What would you say somewhere? you do here besides Top Gun? <laughs> and, in court, and, and encourage mustache growth. <laughs> Stay strapped or Stay get strapped clapped. Stay strapped or get clapped. We're, uh, looks like we're on the inside of a vehicle uh, underneath yeah. a turret. What does he have in there? He's got a belt. He's got a 240. 240. Chunk, chunk. Uh-oh. Stay, well, the good thing is it's blank, so it's during training. Oh, yeah, these are blank rounds. Yeah. Well, the cool thing is, like, he's, you hear a gun rocking, and he's trying to shoot his gun but he literally keeps getting malfunction. Listen to right. this. Use your kachunk. You better tighten that BFA, buddy. BFA stands yeah. for? Blank firing adapter. So yeah. that's obviously, you can see the, the belt of 240, the belt of 762, they're all blank rounds. It's to create the pressure in the barrel so you get the recoil. Yeah, initially, it, the way a blank gun works or whenever you introduce a BFA on top of a gun, it basically just clogs the barrel. So it just makes sound, nothing actually comes out. Room, Room clearing. clearing. Now all my internet critics, let's come on. Let's come together and let's judge. Who's the guy? Is that guy in ACUs in the back? No, this this, look, so this looks like Fort Campbell. Oh, so let's see, 101st Airborne. Oh, let's see how they do it. For Screaming Eagles. I'm excited. Okay, so Donkey kicks the door correctly. Okay, it's a center fed room. So it looks like they strong walled it. They didn't go to their, technically they didn't go to their points of domination. So... They didn't, they didn't go all the way? Should they have no. gone down the hall? It's a center fed room, yeah. Right. So, so what, the first two guys first should have gone down? First man takes two corners. First man takes two corners in a center fed room. So the guy who went in first should have hit that corner and then continued going down the wall because you're trying to establish an L shape so that way everybody's sectors are collapsing in the middle. But so they go to the corners and first man should have continued going unless it's a really big room. So this type of room, they shouldn't have called strong wall. They should have just dominated it. This is a modern video. This is what they're Yeah, this training. is new. I, I mean, yeah, they obviously, the speed looked very controlled. It's live fire, you know? Yeah, the only thing that I would have said is he comes through the door. You could do something which is called a center step now, which is obviously not what they're teaching, which is instead of just going in the room immediately, you kind of pie it off and Without, take a second. Before you go yeah, into the room. Because the second you cross that breach, technically, if you want to go by doctrine, your point of domination is your biggest threat. So mm. he needs to get his barrel in the corner, but he kind of comes in the room and is just and gets really target fixated on the target, if you watch. so. Two man target fixated, and then he checks his corner. Uh, but as yeah. he's coming in, before he crashes the breach, he should have sent shots and then immediately turned his corner and then turned and started shooting. Yeah. But that's just critics. Yeah, no, it looked good. It looked looked fine to me. Just would have took it. I just would have told him take that corner. Take yep. that point of domination. Don't strong wall. Yep. By the way, I'm posting this on TikTok. Yes. Army recruiter, let's see it. This guy looks familiar. All I really need you to do is sign these papers and you'll be good to go, okay? Okay, yeah. let's see. What are you promising okay. me? Awesome, let's do this. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's going to be a lot of Come long nights. Mm -hmm. No sleep, really. Fire guard shifts, PT. I'm so morning, excited. But well worth it, bro. Hold on. Did you say no sleep and PT every morning? 
Absolutely, uh-huh. you're gonna be in great shape when you're done, bro. For real. I, I was mean, in pretty good shape after I, I, I basic pretty, training. I was in pretty good shape. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I gained 10 pounds of muscle in basic training in yeah. AIT. And not to mention, people think they're just immediately gonna get in shape just by doing oh, like shit. PRT, which Sorry, is completely wrong. You actually need to put in the effort. Hey, I mean, mom. I was in okay shape because I danced professionally. <laughs> so yeah, like, my up? cardio was yeah. like okay. No worries, bro. You know, no the whole worries, sleep thing. From my experience, and this was a long time ago, but like my experience, even in basic training, we got eight hours. We were in bed. Yeah, nine, no, you they got get us up sleep. At five. You get sleep. Well, uh, hi there. Uh, welcome to the Air Force Recruiting Center. What can I do for you, bro? This dude next door talking about hard labor and PT all the time. That yeah, that sounds horrible. Welcome to the Air Force, my friend. Where the fuck is this guy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh, yeah. Wow. Honestly, Airport, the Air Force man. is so much better. It's yeah. so it's like if you value your your uh, how they treat you, right? If you if you value your time and your professional development, yeah, the Air Force will take care of you. Yeah, man, they're they're uh, head and shoulders, you know. Oh yeah, they're good. <laughs> yeah, like in the Army, we sleep in barracks, and in the Air Force, we sleep in hotels. <laughs> Coming home. Mama, I'm coming home. He's testing. He's testing for his black belt. And he thinks he's fighting his coach. Well, yeah. guess what? It's not your coach. It's your dad. It's your dad. He came back from getting cigarettes. Yeah! Oh. Such a nice moment. Oh, that's great. Man. Look at him. He's crying. Super if you're not cool. crying right now, you're not a human being. Yeah, that's super nice. If you want to feel good about humanity, you oh, watch yeah. like an hour long uh, clip, clips of like people coming home to like their dogs and stuff oh, like yeah, that. Oh, the dogs kids. freak out way and more dogs than like, people. are like freaking out. Yeah. Thank you so much everybody for joining us on this episode of Social Media Recon. If you want more content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. We'll see you on the next one, team. If we weren't training, it was like the most terrifying time to be a private because you knew the team leaders were just trying to come up with something <laughs> to either publicly embarrass you or get you physically harmed.